here I am in my garden shed and I'm just preparing some food for the horses. Really excited because it's very nearly the 1st of July, which basically means release to the cliff for my little five cliff unicorns. So it's just a couple of scoops of some B vitamins for them to help them um, mitigate the effects of snacking on any bracken that they might have been doing. They haven't been doing loads, but I always worry, so boost their thiamine just in case. So they have that in some fast fibre, a bit of chaff, mix it round, I'll soak it when I get up there. Great, that's everybody's food ready, so let's get going Go and sort out the ponies. So we just got a quick snip up through the village now, um, parked up the car, go and soak that food and then also feed the big horses for a couple of hours. And then we will go and see the little ponies, Kefelvach, and we will feed them and we will put them on the cliff. It's exciting. And I've just uh, popped my head on because I do like to have my head on when I'm out and about. It just feels better that way. But I realise I maybe need to get a new one with my logo on. This is kind of like my farm hat now. <laughs> And here we are. Go ponies! Uh, some lovely big horses, all good. All three of them. Dark princess herself emerges from the corner. Lovely. Well, they can all move. That's great. Hello. Hey, Bronnie. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, girl. Oh, Mr. Dave, I've got to soak it, okay, sweetheart? I've got to soak it. Hey, Miss Penny. Hey, girl, Miss Penny. Good, Miss Penny.
okay fab so while um <laughs> big horses are now fed i am now heading up the track to go to the little ponies um, just taking some time to appreciate what a lovely cool evening it is it's lovely um you can see a bit over my shoulder close sky i'll just turn the camera around so you can see the front we've become. We're very excited. Life is very boring. When you're a conservation grazing pony, let me bring us a bit closer. <laughs> when you're a conservation grazing pony, and you have acres of interesting scrubland to go and deal with. And then you get shut in a layback field for two months. What's the pony gonna do? That's, that's why they're bored crazy. And I rock up this lot, and it is the highlight of the day. Except today's highlight is I'm actually going to open the gate, but I'm going to feed them their anti bracken first. Then they can have it large. Whoop whoop! Hey guys, look at my hair. Whoop whoop! Right, tell you how, kids. Give her some room. Give her some room. I'm now going to sit down behind this and talk quietly like David Attenborough but I am really pleased with some progress so Flicker is the mare on the left with the orange bowl it's taken her two weeks of the feeding ritual for her to trust to come and eat from the bowls she's had kind of the worst fright in terms of being removed from the common and coming living as a conservation grazing pony She's very much the one who can move all the others. She is the mother of Felicity, the little white mare who's just turned away from her, and Folly, the little grey, who's just been pushed off by his cousin, Darcy. Um, and in the background, we have Uncle Bryn, who would be related to Flicker by having the same sire, but otherwise come from different mare lines. So it's quite sweet. So Flicker is Folly's mum and Felicity's mum, quite probably different dads. Darcy is the daughter of Flicker's sister. Um, so that makes her cousin Darcy, or niece Darcy. And nice Mr. Solid Secure Bryn, who doesn't have to worry about being pushed off food apart from by Flicker. There's the one who hasn't been moving around. And otherwise, we have some sibling rivalry. It's pretty unnatural really, giving them all their feed from a bucket each. It gives them a honeypot to fight over and as you can see, the field will be very, very relieved to see them gone. They've been grazing really tight. What you can see there is kind of the brambles that's in the sward, so it's kind of got a little bit rough looking. But even though they've been grazing really tight, you can see that all of them are 
They're chubby ponies, guys. They're a little like fatty bum bums. You have, and you're gonna go on the cliff and eat a whole variety of different yummy stuff, which actually they're unlikely to get any fatter on um, from this point. We've passed, you know, the longest day. Grass growth isn't going to be so rapid. There's a lot of tough fibrous stuff out there. Certainly gonna stuff their faces, but they're gonna be living out on that cliff all winter. So they gain fat in the summer, they lose it in the winter. Um, I think they enjoy their life out there, but I wouldn't say it was easy. They have to use their old pony wit and cunning to thrive out there. In case you are wondering um, about the swapping food buckets, they all have exactly the same ration in each bucket. Um, so there's enough of the B vitamin supplement to cover the size pony they are. It's mixed up in some Alan and Page fast fibre and some of that um, Denji molasses free just to give them something to chew on. And when it's gone, it's gone. I don't know much of <laughs> how much of a Pied Piper I'm going to be, but let's give it a go. Let's go, ponies. Who wants to go on the cliff? Who wants to go? I know Flicker, I'm holding a stick. I'm holding a stick with a phone on it. That could be like a stick for chasing ponies with. My thing. Come on, my little monsters. That's a nice snort. Good boy, fossils. I like a snort like that. Nice kind of, oh, we're turning down our tension and maybe we'll relax kind of snort. That's good. Oh yes, that's a good snort. I think somebody intelligent has clocked what's going on. What do you think, Bryn? Do I look like a woman who's going to open a gate for you? Yeah. Come on, pony. Let's go. Let's get this bad gate open. Okay guys, it's coming. Ready. Let's go. I think I'm just gonna go for it. We're not gonna style the shot, we're just gonna go, whoa, we're opening a gate, opening a gate. Opening a gate. Whoa. Oh my God, Brinny. There he goes. Nice pony trot. Who else is coming? We're all coming. What about you ladies? Are you coming? I know. The gate opens. Very heaven awaits. Yes. Steady on flicks next, you can do it. There we go, Gilly. I know, I get it your way. She goes into the west. Good girl. Cool, let's go see what they got up to. We missed the best galloping while I tied the gate shut, but if I don't tie the gate shut, tie the gate open. Here you go, ponies. How's that for you? Cool, now that they're out here, they will trample this bracken a bit because they'll stomp into that the grass that's inside it but not until they've demolished the easy grass around the edges first. Because why would you? And they're free to come in and out until the bows are get replenished. How's that, ponies? So nice. Okay, let's dive in and take a look to see what ponies are munching on. Just follow along 
everybody. Hey, Mrs. Mekasnikas. It's all right, I won't point the stick at you. Let's see what they want to do. Who are we going to follow? What are you doing, Brian? You're a good pony. Let's go and um, zoom in here. See what Brin's eating. Oh, nice cheeky bit of hogweed. Yeah. It's like, can we just watch you eat? Can we just watch you eat? Yeah, boy. Just want to follow you. Just want to follow you eating. Oh, you're a babe. You're a mega babe. You're a mega babe conservation pony. Look at you. You're a model. You're a model. Now go and eat something. Show the people what you do. I know, I'm like such a stalker. I'm so annoying. I know, I'm sorry. We're having a little sniff. He's having a little decide what he likes. Doesn't like nap weed. Does like some grass. There we go. Oh, doesn't like common centauri. Flicker needs a pee. Sorry, Flicker. Private sign for that. There we go. He's diving into some little long grass behind the horse there. Let's have a look at what the girls are doing. Can you show us what you're eating, Felicity? Some, have some grass, man. There we go. We can see really nicely now what she's selecting. Ha <laughs> ha! she gets moved. Now nobody likes Centauri. Oh my god, I'm gonna go for the gorse girl. I thought you'd sick of that. There we go. And the grass. Great, so they're really just dashing around, sampling, they're going to take out the dominant grasses and they're just going to make more wildflower room. So cool. <laughs>